Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in, drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Th okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the Commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. Enemy contact! And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here.
Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. So long, Rex. Shepard. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. We weren't told to expect you, sir. I would have prepared a formal greeting. Spare me the pleasantries. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. <laughs> you still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. The Normandy is a fine ship, sir. She's served us well so far. It's a gimmick, Commander. Useless in a stand-up fight. This exp 
experiment, diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless! We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. We're supposed to find and kill the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin Sin and Al-Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations. All of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Hold on. It's pretty clear you have an agenda here. I'm not going to be a part of it. Excuse me. You can't just walk away, Commander. The public has a right to know. 
Isn't it true you're just a shill for the Council? Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Commander Shepard, it's me, Con- There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Hey, can I get your picture? I don't have a problem with it, but... Why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Shepherd kid. Hey, been a long time, huh? I'm sorry, do we know each other? Uh, I, I guess you don't remember me. Lieutenant Zabaleta, I, I worked with your mother. We served on the carrier Einstein. Well, that was 12, 13 years back, though. You were just a kid then. I didn't see her much that tour. The ship was on patrol most of the time. Hey, call your mom up and ask. She'd remember old Zabaleta. She'd vouch for me. Look, I need a favor. I'm kind of short of money these days. I hate hitting you up for money, but a man's gotta eat, right? So, could you spare something? Maybe 20 credits? Yeah, it's not a problem. You're a good kid, you know that? Thanks. You ever want to come by and talk, I'll be here. Huh? 
<laughs> Can't afford a ticket home, right? What do you say we head down to Cora's den after shit? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Anovio and Snow Wealthy. Tally, are the Quarians concerned that the return of the Geth will lead to more anger against your people? The Geth killed billions and forced us from our homeworld. Most Quarians believe we have paid properly for our mistake. I hope the other races view matters in the same light. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. Dahlia's dead, Nasana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I'm telling you, this is not... I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca. But don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. 
my sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more Profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the Extranet. Keyword, courage. No, I'm waiting to... Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. 
Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Good to see you, Commander. I am curious about the helmet you always wear, Tally. Does it contain technical augmentation systems? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. I suppose that makes it more likely you will return from your pilgrimage then. You are only truly safe on your flotilla. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak? Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. What kind of incident? You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleda was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. <laughs> <laughs> 